How is everybody doing out there today? It is 4.05 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on 8-16-2020. If you were around for the live broadcast of the inauguration speech and the swearing in, it is world history. It's going to be more of a world history event when the first state is announced. And that begins the nation building of the United Allied States. And what it comes down to, economic zones, states, all from different countries around, signing treaties with the United Allied States to let them become the states and then the products and the currency of the United Allied States provided by Apollo Fintech are going to be used in these zones, states. And the first one is going to knock your socks off. Um, and then basically this is the beginning of the train. The national payment platform, I'll show you one thing in just a minute, a retweet by somebody that has 66k uh, followers that he is involved in when you look at what he's involved in is the bomb okay so you got this all starting the train rolling and then things like the Apollo cash which is going to basically replace echo cash because of dominance that the Apollo cash does and with the uh, dominance of Apollo's blockchain of two second speed sharded blockchain ding dong so many other features and let's just play this very quickly here and that's the thing it is the power of Apollo Fintech because of what's going on right now all the different things this piece right here the all-in-one luxury blockchain from Natalie using Steve's quote Apollo Fintech, we are the only blockchain company with a working system to power an economy, issue a national digital currency. So what it comes down to is people that are not familiar with Apollo, people that are trying to bash Apollo, people that just are learning about it and just getting into it and have doubts a little bit. you got to look at the last two years of what Apollo has done, the two-second speed of the blockchain having the block sending from wall to wallet, wall to exchange, rapid speed, beating everybody, Ripple, XRP, everything, beating it. Okay, now when you look at the national payment platform or what they're going to be doing for governments, having the use of this platform to power their economies, their government, and having the national digital currency of the GSC, gold standard currency, doom. And look also what Apollo is doing with the GSX. With reinvestments of the GSX, you have a stable coin that's going up in value from where it is right now, 4.6 in the cents, okay, less than 5 cents. Link is down below. You get a ton of free coins by using that link. It's going to be going up in reinvestments from gold um, mined out of a mines that Apollo has in Zimbabwe in trust. Um, and those, when you look at it, not going down but going up. Is that the bomb or is that the bomb? It is. So you have so much coming, and when you look at the past history of Apollo, what their dominance is, when you look at the whole left-hand side here of all the dominance, everything there. Pause the video and read it if you want to. I'm not going to do the whole thing, but I've been covering Apollo for two and a half years, and this has all been around for that kind of time. And that is what you got to understand. Apollo always does what they say they're going to do. And when you look at what's coming up for the national payment platform, the Knox Bank, that you can get your bank accounts, um, and they're it's already approved with a charter in the Netherlands. They uh, have the United States approval any time now. And then you have the United Allied States also having it. This Knox Bank is going to be the bomb. The Apollo Cash is going to be the bomb. The national payment platform is going to be the bomb. All world noticed. And when you look at this piece here, the market I'll get back to in one second. David Daughtry um, did a retweet of Ralph Potter's tweet of the National Payment Platform article, which I'll, or press release that I'll show you. The big thing about this, David's got 65,000 followers. And he is basically, I work with a company, directors, to help them and their boards to be more effective. Charter director, corporate governance expert. Um, this is big. When you have people like this paying attention to the national payment platform, 
this is what's going to get everybody seriously into Apollo and GSX and everything with the UAS. The United piece that is involved here, taking every aspect of what Apollo's done for the last two years, incorporate the new uh, national payment platform, and understand that this is a finished product and people are paying attention to it. And they're going to be paying attention to all the accomplishments of Apollo with the sharded network that nobody could do, but Apollo did it in the summer of 2019. So much done in the last two years, now people are going to be paying attention to it. The press release here that shows everything um, with the video is out there, and there's so many more articles and so much more there. We'll get back to it in a second. We'll, we'll just do the market for a little bit. 372 in the um, market cap, 18.9, almost 19 for the daily. BTC at 218, uh, 218. Market cap at 218 billion. 11.8, almost basically started going past 12K, but stopped again. And then people are selling a bit. Not too bad, but just enough to stop the momentum. When is the momentum going to start kicking in, going to 12 and up, 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 over 400 billion? We'll have to wait and see. ETH at 425, XRP at 29. Where was the last video, actually? 29.7. Now, getting over to some of the news, you've got the U.S. regulator charges tech firm CEO and 5 million ICO fraud case. And that it is, let me just take a look because I did not see it. Uh, Rajesh Pavaran for fraud and registration violations uh, for boom coins. Never heard of the boom coins. And I'm in crypto. I never heard of the boom coins. Uh, blockchain phones and Bitcoin watches. I'll list this down below if you're interested. Revisiting the crypto hype of what was actually brought out. Um, concept to reality. Uh, you'll have to just take a look and see which ones were. But a lot of them were very expensive, including the watches. Um, and just crazy money. And that's why a lot of them just didn't really make it. Uh, but some of the blockchain phones did do okay. Okay, UAS will enhance Africa, African lives. Not just Africa. That's one thing I had to say about this. It is a very good article. It's not just Africa, though. When you look at what's going on with the national uh, payment platform, any country can use it, right? When you look at the uh, national currency of the GSC currency, um, that is hosted on Apollo's blockchain. Now, the physical bills will be used in the United Allied States, but then GSC hosted the, the national currency, host, hosted on Apollo's blockchain. That is going to be used in every state that's around and the countries all around. And those countries can be all over the world. Right. So when you think about that, the standard currency used in these states all around the world are going to be able to have no inflation and so much of a benefit from it. And with the infrastructure provided by the Apollo FinTech National Payment Platform and all the different things that they do, or we'll look at this, okay, before we go here. Oh, i got to mention this. The site is finally going to be redone, the uh, ApolloCurrency.com, where you get the wallet right over here. Okay, this site's going to be redone. Now, getting over to Apollo FinTech's products, all the pieces that they provide in the management of governments and they have benefits for the consumer and the commercial it's all in one place the fintech company taking care of business so with government solutions commercial products consumer products everything is gelling rocking and rolling and now when the first state is announced for the united allied states ladies and gentlemen this is going to begin the historic run this is going to be something where people will pay attention to apollo currency apollo fintech and apl and gsx ladies and gentlemen nobody can deny what's going to happen once it happens it's going to be the full effect of world history covered by all major media networks of everybody from CNN to every BBC to everybody around the world. Um, this is world history. The country that has the first state for the United Allied States, signing the treaty with Steve coming up in the next week or so, 
that country is going to announce, the president of that country is going to announce the deal with the United Allied States. So, what I guys do on the way out here is the piece here. In this video, it's Party Time US, UAS. The HMFB for the peace. Anybody knows what that is? HMFB? Okay. It's Hold My Blank Beer. Everybody enjoy. Coming up, updates galore, breaking news.